Hey guys, Anthony here with another WordPress quick tip and today I'm going to be talking about migrating your WordPress sites. So migrations can be a big hassle. Uh, there, there's moving your, your images, moving your posts and making sure all the settings are right on the receiving site and luckily there is a plugin called All-in-One WP Migrations that will handle all of this for you. There's a very simple export button and there's a very simple import button. So what it does is it exports a zip file and on the importing end, it just takes in that zip file and, and migrates all of your content for you. It's a very easy to use plugin and it will speed up your workflow of moving from staging to production. Uh, so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so we're gonna wanna start in the, uh, the, the default plugin panel of the site that you want to export. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the add new button. And in the search bar, you're gonna type in all in one migration and you're gonna see that the very first plugin is the one that we want and you're gonna click install now and you're gonna click OK and let it run the installation and once the installation is completed you're gonna click the activate plugin button once it's activated we're gonna to wanna to look on the sidebar In the sidebar there's a, a, an option that says site migration we're gonna to wanna to click the export button now once we get here, uh, you're going to want to, uh, to just export the site right here. There's a button that says export. So go ahead and click export. And it's going to start your download. So the download has started. It's exporting currently my database, uh, my images, and all my posts. So we'll let that finish up. And once your download is completed, you're going to look in the bottom, uh, if you're using Chrome, uh, you're going to look in the bottom and you'll see that you've got a zip file that was now downloaded. It's called, uh, in my case, I'm exporting my site, antpb.com. Uh, it has the name of my site and the date with the zip extension. So that's the file that you are going to use on the receiving end. So now I've already built a new site that's called My Awesome Site. <laughs> and, uh, and we're going to need to install the plugin on this site now. So let's go ahead and click Add New. And we'll go ahead and type all in one migration and you'll see it comes up first and we'll install it there. And once it's completed, you'll have the activate option. We'll activate it. Now we're going to look on the sidebar and we're going to click instead of the export, we're going to click import. Now in here you can select the file or you can drag and drop. I always select it just to be safe. So uh, we'll go ahead and select it, and in my case, it downloaded to my downloads folder, and there it is. So we'll go ahead and click that and let it import. So it'll run the import process, and it'll give you a, a time a, a, a progress bar, which will keep it alive if you have any restrictions on on uh, uh, timeouts. So we'll let this run. Okay, now once the installation is completed, go ahead and click on the the WordPress icon, and this should prompt you to log in again. Now what you're going to use is the login information for the site that you uh, exported because that is now migrated as well, all of your users. And once I log in, we're going to check just to see if my posts are there. And it looks like all of my posts were, were moved over and we'll go ahead and visit the site and you'll see that my migration was completed. So if we look at and compare it uh, to my existing site, the one that we exported, you'll see that this is what the site looked like. And if we go over here to the one that I migrated, there is no difference. So it was a seamless migration and it was quick. So this is going to be a big time saver, especially if you're used to the manual process of exporting your database and copying content over. It's just as simple as export and import on the receiving end. So if you have any questions on that, please leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe as I'll be doing these every week. See ya.